Hey everyone, so Lily just woke up and she's pretty tired. It is um, 9.15 and um, last night in Lily's night routine, um, I showed you how to make, uh, <laughs> I showed you Lily's headband collection and um, I asked you guys if you wanted to see a tutorial and pretty much everyone did, so I'm going to teach you how to do it. Um, not all of them are the same, but you make it, like, the same way. So the things you'll need are some elastic or, like, ribbon to do as the headband. I just have this one-fourth one inch braided elastic. I just have this, and I use, I like it because it's thin, and I like the thin ones with big embellishments on them. It looks cute. You need um, something you're going to stick on it. I have some stickers here. I stole this actually off of Kit's um, what's called? her suitcase because I needed a pink one. Lily doesn't have like a pink headband and it needs to match this and that does. And um, you, can, you can use like any kind of stickers. Preferably the ones with the backs on them like that don't come on a sheet. But if they come on a sheet you can cut them out. Or like stick them to paper and cut it out. Or you don't have to. You can use buttons. I've used some buttons. Or um, these are like little gems that you can sew into your clothes. I was trying to find them recently, but I just don't know where I put them. You can use fabric and cut out your own designs. I've done that a few times. And um, someone asked me how I... Oops. She keeps doing Caroline's suitcase right now. Um, how I made this, it's just a sticker. It's like one of those things you put on a gift, but like a little one. I have one somewhere over here. Yeah, I have one over here somewhere. I don't know. Well, I do, but it's even littler. Oh, here it is. It's just like one of these things. You could even use this one, like, real size if you wanted, but be really big. I just found these little ones, so they look really cute. So, um, I think I'm going to make Lily two today. And, oh yeah, another thing you're going to need is, like, hot glue. I'm using my hot glue gun, or you can use, like, regular glue. Oh, it's warmed up, so we can get started. Okay, um, I forgot to say, another thing you're going to need is scissors and your doll. Let me get my scissors. Hold on. Right here. So, first thing you're going to want to do is, if your doll's already wearing a headband, take it off. You don't really want to measure her headbands because they're, like, put together. This is the first time I made her, actually. And I'm going to take out her pacifier just because I feel like she's going to drop it anyway. Okay. Why is the lighting kind of bad? I don't know. Okay, so, you're going to want to take your elastic or whatever you're going to use for the headband portion and um, wrap it around her head in the style you would want it when she's wearing it. So I like it like this and you want to hold it with your thumb like where the ends meet and then go back like an inch because you want it to stretch to fit her head so, um, so you know it's not loose because if you make it the exact size it could be a little loose. That's what I think my problem was with my first one she was just wearing. It's a little loose on her. On this one. It's a little loose. So now I've got this thing. Plus it'll also get a little bit tighter when you have to hot glue the ends together. You can also sew them. That's what I did with this one. But, um, I don't know. I just feel like sewing it takes a little longer. So now that you've got this, if you're going to make multiple, if you already made your thing, you can make another one the same size and just cut it. That's what I do when I make them in bulk. I make when I made like all of those, I just made one and then cut the pattern. And I still have enough elastic for like a few more, but I'm not gonna make a few more. I'm only making two today. Oops. I'm trying to rewrap it. So I really don't care. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick it back in there. Um, so, now you're done with your baby, 
we can put her away. I have Lily in her little bounce with Amy. She could even put her headband back on or whatever you want to do. Come here, Lily. Yeah, you can just go back to wherever. And um, I tested Lily's other headbands, and they do fit on the seal. She just looks a little odd with them because, I don't know, she just does. So, um, be careful with hot glue because it is very hot. Um, if you're, like, really little, and um, I'd ask for adults, like, permission or, like, supervision or have someone older do it for you, maybe. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to first make the one with the sticker. I wish I had the backing to the sticker. I don't really want to cut it out because I don't know which one it goes to. I think that one, actually. Yeah. I'm going to cut it out. So if your sticker comes on like a sticker sheet, I recommend cutting out the backing so it has something to be there. This is optional. You can do it without the backing. It'll just be a little bit sticky and stick to your doll's head a little until the stickiness wears off. Or you can like get the stickiness off by touching your fingers on the back of it a lot. But I just think the backing is better. Because I don't want it to stick to my doll's head. It's hard to like cut out the flower. It's good that this is a clear backing so like if miss a little bit, just like a tiny little bit, it won't really be seen. So Lily is going to look super cute in this. And she's going to wear this one with her pajamas, because I wanted her to have a, surprisingly I didn't have like a pinkish headband for her. I'm just going to like modify it to make it look perfect. Well, like, good enough. Um, yeah, I got it pretty good, so it's cut out. And, um, so you want to take your headbands. Yeah, probably get one of this, this part. Here we go. And I like to use the edge of this, and you want to have, like, something to press so you don't burn your fingers. You want to lay it down like this. Um, we'll just lay it flat, one end over the other. Take hot glue and put it on one end, just, like, a little bit and put the other end on top of it, and then use like a, some scissors or something to push it down so you don't get the extra glue that you're pushing out onto your fingers. And then if you get glue on your scissors, you can like get it off. And if you get glue on the sides, you can wipe it off. Um, oops, mine came apart. go. So it's like combined. If it breaks later, I wouldn't be surprised because they haven't used, none of the nine have broke yet, but that one I was pulling a little. And then you want to do the same thing for your other one if you're making these pull. What I like to do is um, cut all my elastics at the same time and then um, hot glue them all at the same time so they're all drying. And then you take the first one you did and like put the embellishment on and like I do them in order of how I hot glue them to make sure they're all drying at like the same rate. So there we go. Got this one done. Sorry guys couldn't really see that, but it's okay. And then um I'm just gonna let mine dry a little bit more. Well actually so then you want to take your headband and we're going to put the embellishment on. So I have this flower and it really doesn't matter where you put it. You could even put it on the seam. I never do that. I like to put the seam in the back. I never put them on the seam, but like that would hide the seam. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, I usually stick it on top. Like I just don't do it near the seam so you don't see it. But it doesn't really matter where you put it, unless you want to, like, put it on your baby and find where you want it. But if you're going to do that, then wait a little longer until this is really dry. Um, I'm going to put it, like, right here. No, no. So, you're just going to lay it 
flat on your cardboard or whatever. Like that. Oh, that's actually a good angle. And then I just put a little... It's kind of a longer thing, so I'm going to put a lot of glue and then press down on it. And then you want to make sure it doesn't stick to the cardboard. You've got to lift it up. Oops, there's like glue coming off of it and lots of stuff. I taught one of my other friends how to do this. And um, she, she made some for her bitty baby. And they look really cute on her. So then when it's drying, you just want to um, just let it dry for a while. I'm just leaving one like that. And then I'm going to teach you guys how to make one with a button. So I have these flower buttons. See, I've got like a button thing in the back. But you don't want a button thing in the back. I think I'm going to make a pink flower. I don't know, hold on. I have another pink flower that I already took the backing off of. And um, maybe I'll add in like purple and blue. I have two pinks, two purples, two blues. Um, something you need to get the backing off, I'm just going to move my hot glue, is a nail clipper. It's weird, right? So you. All you do is put it over the part that's would be a button and pinch. And it comes off. You can throw it away. And then you can take your clippers and go back and try and get the little stubs that are still stuck. It's a little bit hard. You don't have to. If you think it's good enough, you can. And then you can also go in with scissors if you want. Just try and make it really flat. It's good. It's good enough for me. And then I have four more to do. Usually that first clip, if you get right down to the, um, the button, it'll be good. Oh yeah, that was a really good clip. I got that one really good. I'll let you guys watch. And by the time I make this one, Lily's other one should be good enough to wear. So, I just put my little extra pieces back in the bag just because it's easiest for me. Oops, didn't get the full button. Sometimes it's hard to get the button pieces off. I just have to be careful where I put the little extras because I don't want my cats to be able to swallow them. So now I've got my pinks and purples done. I just have blues. Um, oh, my mom made cinnamon rolls. She just told us she's going to want me to come down. But I can finish this quick. So these are good enough. I don't care. Um, then I'm going to just pick out a pattern. Maybe like Oh, that's really cute. So I did. I'll show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see. So it's like that. So I'm not going to use my extra pink. I can save that for a different thing. And then the buttons are really easy to put on. All you do is hot glue them on. Like the exact same way. So you just lay it flat. And you want to put like a small amount. Line up your button. I'm doing a bunch, so I've got to try and space them evenly. I think this will be a really cute headband. Yeah, I'm spacing them pretty evenly. I'm a good button spacer. <laughs> and the last one goes way over here. And you
you can just get creative and make like cool designs or whatever you want. Oh, I really like this. It's really cute. So now Lily has her other headband. I'm going to go have some cinnamon rolls and I'll be back to show you guys how they look on her. And I'm back. And um, the hot glue gun is cooling off. Okay, so here are the headbands. We made this flower one and this flower one. I know she has a head uh, outfit with all these colors, but it's just really cute. Otherwise, like my American Girls or like Lucille can wear this. It's really cute. I like it. So um, this one feels dry enough to wear. This one made me a little longer. So um, I feel like the coloring's really weird. I also got a request to um talk louder. I know I talk quiet. Sometimes it's because I make my videos late at night. Um, sometimes it's because I make them really early. My sister, her room is right there. Like I put my phone against the closet, and after my closet, that's her room. Like we can't go into each other's rooms through it, but like that's her room behind me, and she sleeps really late, and like sometimes she goes to bed early. I don't know, so. Um, I don't want to wake her, because she'll get mad. So I'm going to take out her passy. Take off her headband. And we're going to put this one on her. So come here, Lily Billy. Hey. That's my sister. She's awake. So now I can talk louder. I feel like this one's going to look really cute with this outfit. Alright, just making some adjustments as to where it's going to be. Oh my goodness. Look at her. It matches her outfit so good. She's going to wear this. I mean, the flower looks just like the ones on her. It's light pink with a dark pink center, and it's got like a few petals. This looks really cute. Do you like it? Do you want to try on your other one? Yeah, let's try on your other one. And then you get to wear this one today. So now we've got this one. This one is cute. I'm putting her back to you guys so I can have a big view. Alright, let's pull this forward. I don't even know what's going on there. Alrighty. Fix it in the back. Pull it in the front. There you go. Oh, that other one looks weird. It looks okay. I feel like it would look better if she had hair. <laughs> So maybe this will be more for an American girl. I don't even know if they have an outfit like that. But she does look cute, kind of, in it. If I'd only done a few flowers, I think it would have looked better. Like if I just did three in a little cluster over here. Just like right there. Look cute, like close together and make a little pattern. But she looks cute, so. Yay. Hair different, so let's get this one off. And we're going to put this one back on because this is what she's wearing today. Well, she's not going to wear this outfit. But I can do a changing video if you guys want. And I will make her wear something that she can wear her new headbands with. Maybe. I don't know. So, um, yeah. So thanks for watching. Uh, please click like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments um, which headband you like better. Um, hold on, i got to adjust this. The one she's wearing... Or this one. Oops. I like this one better. <laughs>